So as you can see, I'm back here at the shop and it's a mess. I'm gonna spend most of this week cleaning it. Um, but I wanted to show you something I didn't want the other builders to see. And that is the Scorpion King armor. This season, I have a feeling will be a lot about forks. Whose forks are longer, whose forks go where. Uh, Scorpios has always had a hard time with Lockjaw because he has two widely spaced forks. Uh, Tantrum put on forks in the last season to get himself ready. And even last season's championship came down to a game of forks. So I thought it was very important that Scorpios not fall behind the curve. And we made a set of fork armor for him that we call the Scorpion King. So I hope you enjoy this video about what we did to make it and how it got made. After we received the steel from Van Bever Brothers and they used their laser to cut it out, we went down to Napa, California to head to the all weld shop. He helped us grind chamfers on the front and then we used an old frame to line everything up and Matt began to weld the pieces together. Next up, we started cleaning the metal, getting ready to attach the outer brace pieces. Matt wanted to make sure he got all the slag off the plate. And then he's going to dismount it to weld the backside. One thing we've never done before, because we usually do this in a rush, is we'd usually only weld the front. But Matt insisted by going front and back, we could double or triple the strength of the part. And I have to admit, he was right. Next up, Matt started welding the mounting plates. It was important to us that the forks be replaceable and almost a little bit disposable. That way, if they got bent, that we could easily change them out. We really couldn't have done all the amazing things we did this year without Matt and All Weld's help. I would like to take a moment and say if you are in the Napa area and you are looking for a welder, his company is fantastic. But once he got the mounting plate on, we then attached the fork to make sure everything lined up perfectly. Looks fearsome. Remember, suck it in. Now this was the last set of armor we completed. Uh, Matt actually did all this welding just a few days before we left. And I really appreciate the fact he stayed late on a Friday night to get this done. The Scorpion King armor looks really impressive. I have to admit, it looks much scarier in person than it did in its computer model. Matt was concerned the rails might bend, and so he added some additional rebar on the outside edges, or inside edges, to make sure they would be rigid enough to survive impacts in combat. Because this was done at the end of the build season, we didn't actually have a chance to test it. So, wish us luck, because this one might get tested in Season 6 on the fly. Which makes it extra exciting. <laughs> but I hope everybody enjoyed this inside look on how we make and prep a set of armor for the robot. We have many other surprises up our sleeves, as Scorpios came almost like a Swiss army knife this year, ready to adapt to a whole bunch of different situations. And thanks to Matt and his team, we had so many different armor sets and so many different weapons to use. I hope you enjoyed this look at our first one.
We actually found out when we got there to the official scale, this particular configuration was eight pounds overweight. So we had to hack a bunch of stuff off of it at the last second. Wish us luck.